story on Action News is the search for the driver who hit the child as the boy went around the ice cream truck that was stopped on the street. Action News reporter Annie McCormick is live outside the Accident Investigation Division of the Police Department with the very latest on this case. Annie. And Brian and Jeanette, a short time ago, investigators here did release the capture of an image that they do believe is the vehicle that could be responsible for hitting that little boy. But at this hour, they're still looking for more surveillance video. So is the family and friends. In fact, some friends in that tight knit neighborhood have been going door to door asking anybody if they've seen anything and if they've got it on tape. He's so innocent. Please just, just do the right thing. If anybody knows anything, anybody has any footage, Please just turn it in, please. I'm begging you. I wouldn't want my worst enemy to go through what I'm going through right now. Watching my baby fight for his life. Bobby Curran's four year old son Christopher remains in a medically induced coma after a driver hit him and took off around 9 30 Sunday night in the 6600 block of Keystone. Philadelphia police believe this is the vehicle responsible. I just want you to do the right thing. Like, he has two older brothers that want him to come home and, like, my baby, man. He's four years old. Christopher, his dad, two brothers, and cousins stopped to enjoy a treat from the ice cream truck on the two lane roadway with a 25 mile speed limit. While standing near his dad, the driver hit Christopher. Witnesses say the driver was speeding. The ice cream truck was double parked in the uh, northbound lane of Keystone Street, and a silver colored vehicle passed that ice cream truck, striking the four year old boy and leaving the scene. So there's a double yellow line. Obviously, you need to stop first to make sure it's clear. If it's necessary to go around, you can do so slowly. And most times, that's fine, all right? When you hit something or someone, you have a responsibility to stop and render aid. He has swelling on the brain and bleeding on the brain. He was hit about 40 miles an hour. The striking car headed northbound and did not stop. His father started to race after the driver, then saw his son, grabbed him, and ran him to the firehouse. Medics rushed the child to St. Christopher's Hospital. And that is where he does remain at this hour. The FOP also offering a $5,000 reward for any information that does lead to an arrest. You can call 215-686-TIPS with information and you can remain anonymous. For now, reporting